Cancer isn't a single disease of a single body part. Different types of cells and organs in the body can suffer from different types of cancers. Breast cancer, lung cancer, skin cancers, prostate cancer, stomach cancer, leukemia, which affects the blood, and many others. However, one organ is practically immune to getting cancer, right. the heart. If you search for the disease frequency, you will find that some estimates say it only shows up in 0.002% of cases, which is two in every 100,000 individuals of those who died from cancer. So why does our heart, which incessantly pumps blood 24-7, 365, until the day we die, so rarely get cancer? In other words, why is heart cancer so rare on the list of cancers that afflict more than 18 million people around the world each year? For starters, heart cells are what biologists call terminally differentiated. Simply put, that means that the heart cells will forever be heart cells, and they won't make new heart cells. When your heart formed as a baby, the heart cells, and more specifically, the cardiac muscles of the heart, make fewer and fewer new cells. The cardiac muscle cells of an adult rarely divide, if ever. This is why heart muscles can't repair themselves after an injury. We simply cannot make new cardiac muscles to replace the damaged ones. So, what does any of this have to do with cancer? Well, everything. Cancer is a disease that depends on cell division and growth. It is essentially a form of growth gone rogue. Human life, like all life, starts with a single cell zygote. That single cell divides and multiplies, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on until it forms a fetus. A fetus turns into a newborn and that baby grows into a toddler. The toddler grows into a child and the child becomes a teenager. The teenager then has a growth spurt into adulthood. By the time you're an adult, you have a stable 30 trillion cells in your body. That expansion from one cell to 30 trillion cells is exquisitely, insanely regulated. One might even say micromanaged. As an adult, cells typically only divide to replace old or injured cells, like how you heal after getting a scraped knee. However, a cell's DNA may sometimes undergo mutation, which can mess up certain signposts of the cell's regulation. These mutations happen when cells divide because the DNA may have been copied incorrectly into the new cell, or because chemical factors such as UV rays or reactive oxygen radicals change the DNA. Most of the time, a mutated cell naturally self-destructs, or the body eliminates it. This line of defense, however, isn't foolproof. With age, more old cells accumulate, and some mutations slip through. Sometimes these mutations are inherited from our parents. When a mutated cell divides, it passes that mutation on to its lineage. If you keep adding new mutations to that lineage, and the body keeps failing to detect it, a cell will eventually have so many mutations that it can wreck the entire cell's regulatory system, erasing important signposts and making new ones. At that point, you may have a rogue cell that only knows how to grow. The cell divides and divides and divides rapidly, uncontrollably, and insatiably. These are known as cancer cells. Certain parts of the body, such as the skin, stomach, inner lining of the colon, and breasts, continually lose cells and replace them. Digestive acids and enzymes corrode the gut cells, and just think about how often you rub dry skin off your hands or arms. Even breast tissue swells and shrinks based on normal, hormonal activity within the body. These types of cancers, skin, breast, colon, are more common because cells in these areas of the body replicate more frequently than other cell types. Furthermore, they are often more directly exposed to carcinogens, such as UV rays from the sun that hit the skin and the various cancer-causing agents that we breathe into our lungs. The heart, on the other hand, doesn't divide and may be rarely exposed to these types of carcinogens. Therefore, none of the above processes can happen. No mutations and no cell division to pass those mutations on means no cancer. Well, almost. First of all, non-cancerous tumors of the heart do happen, which need to be surgically removed. Second, cancers that start in the heart, called primary tumors, usually happen in the outer coverings of the heart and are made of a type of cell called the epithelium and endothelium. Cancers of the cardiac muscles happen the least often. Third, cancer can spread from diseased organs to other parts of the body, such as the heart, and may cause secondary tumors. This is called metastasis. 
Lastly, 0.002%, unfortunately, isn't zero, which means that a few cases do occur. Fortunately, in most cases, our universal symbol of love still beats fast and strong in the face of cancer.